Mark have talked about Matt Elam being athletic. What does athletic mean to someone that big? Well, well, um, imagine a big train, okay, <laughs> going fast <laughs> down the track. Well, when, when you see someone that big, you just don't expect to see a explosion and, and um, something so quick off the ball. And he has that. I don't know. I mean, he, uh, he definitely has a lot of natural talent. But uh, he had some good high school coaches, and he went through a good program. Have you been around a guy in, in your career in playing or coaching that had that combination of both the size and the speed? Never that big. I, he's probably the biggest player. Um, I've ever been associated with. So, um, you know, we, Coach Stoops and I were at Florida State together. We were at Miami together. And we had some good defensive tackles, that, but uh, never won that big. Why do you think teams get so much better statistically under the Stoops and you, you know, on that second year? Well, the first year you go in and um, everything's new to them. Uh, every time they see something, it's the first time they see it. And then the second year, you got a chance to, uh, hey, I've been there. I've seen that. I know what I'm supposed to do. So you see improvement. PJ, how does J.D. Harmon? He looks good. He's great size for a corner. He's got great change of direction, good speed. It's, it's, it's great to have him back, in, back out there this season. Uh, he's got a, uh, a bright future. Before we get to this, do you have any a better idea of your defensive tackle situation or, or how are those guys shaped? It's tough to tell. You know, we've only had one shoulder padded practice, you know, and at that position, so much is based on uh, the physicality. So we really haven't seen them hit each other much. So it's tough to tell. Which areas of the defense have you seen most improvement since the spring? Um, most improvement since the spring? Uh, I, I think that um, we're, we're better in the secondary. We're better in the secondary, and uh, that comes with experience. And um, I think that comes with just more reps as well. What do you ask from a, a, a guy like Ashley Lowry, senior, to make a lot of improvements in that secondary board? Well, Ashley's a senior. He's got to be a leader. You know, a lot of those same uh, qualities that we got from Avery last year, he has to have those in the secondary. And then on top of that, you know, his play has got to be very, very good, you know. That safety position is critical in our defense, and so he's got to communicate. He's got to get guys lined up, and then he has to make plays. Your impressions of Flanagan so far? Very athletic. Um, picks up the defense quick. Um, you know, like I said, we've only had one shoulder padded practice, so I don't know yet who's going to hit who. So it's tough to tell from that standpoint, but I've been impressed with him. He said you quizzed him. You'd call him and quiz him a little bit when he wasn't here and trying to make sure that you talked about that a little bit. What were how do those cover when you can't sit with a guy and watch film? Uh, and you can't work with him physically. How do how do you how do you exactly do that over the phone? Well, first thing is I learned what his defense was, and then I tried to that he knew in junior college, and I try to translate it. Okay, so that it would it would go quicker in his mind than what we were doing. But the good thing is is he's not a high school kid. He's played two years of college football. You know, and that's what you get with a junior college player. So he's a little more advanced in understanding the game than a high school kid would be. How do you do on those quizzes? Very good. <laughs> Very good. DJ, what, what do you know about this job now that you didn't know when you were sitting up here a year ago? I didn't know the media was going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't realize how talented the media was. So you learned how to suck up? Is that <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you what, um, what I didn't know was how passionate the fan base is about football. You know, I knew the fan base was passionate about basketball, but I didn't know how passionate they were about football. And it's been very impressive and very exciting to see that. And Nico? Yes. Um, I think they have a lot of potential. I've been very impressed with both those guys. As you know, last year I didn't have a freshman linebacker. You know, we didn't sign a linebacker in that class last year. So this is the first freshman class that I've had at linebacker. And uh, I've been very impressed with those guys. They're athletic. They, uh, they're, they're into it. You know, they're intense, which you got to be at that position. Again, it's, uh, it's too early to tell for those positions. You know, sometimes in the skill positions, you can tell more without pads. But um, 
at the line and linebacker, it's tough to tell when you haven't hit anybody yet. DJ, how much do you hope to get Hatcher on the field? How creative do you hope to be maybe in doing that? I hope to get him on the field as, as much as I can, but, you know, most of that is up to him, you know, and, and um, you know, where his play's at, and, and that's for everybody on the team. You know what I mean? But uh, he's got a talent that I want to use, and we're going to do everything we can to get him on the field and use him. What about um, the guys that are going to be sophomores now that played as true freshmen last year? How much have they improved? Well, like I've said before, you know, those guys in the secondary took their lumps having to go out there and play in the SEC as true freshmen. But, you know, it, it, it really matured them. And um, so now going into this training camp, uh, I feel much better about them, and they feel more confident in what they're doing having been there. Coach, with a little bit of lack of depth at linebackers, do you see it as a better approach to be more multiple with your defenses or try to stick to a solid base and work from there with that? Well, the, ultimately, you have to be great at fundamentally. You have to, you have to be great uh, with your fundamentals. So you need to harp on that in whatever scheme you choose to run. But we're a multiple defense. You know, we, we run uh, a lot of different uh, schemes. We run a lot of different looks. And we're going to continue to do that. How do you feel about the defensive tackle position? Well, we, you know, we lost um, two guys that uh, were critical in our defense last year. But uh, Mike Douglas, by the end of the year last year, was playing well, and uh, and he's back. And then we redshirted uh, three defensive tackles last year in Melvin Lewis, Jacob Hyde, and Reggie Ment. And so they just got bigger, stronger, and faster. So they're much more mature than they were last year. And then with the addition of our freshmen, too, I think we'll be in good shape. Well, um, are you going good on good? I don't even know that yet, but are you? No, we've gone good on good, and you know, in seven on seven, we've uh, we've had to battle those guys, and you know, it, some of the usual suspects are good over there, but then some of the freshmen that I've that've caught my eye are like Dorian Baker, um, Garrett Johnson. I think those guys are playing well. Who's the starting quarterback? <laughs> Neil Brown. <laughs> Uh, his tempo is, uh, I mean, yes, it's improved. It's always fast. It's always fast, and it has improved.